Morning for sportsbookreview.com. Pokestar's dreams of setting up shop in Atlantic City Casino have for the moment been crushed. The world's largest online poker, poker room had recently submitted its application to the New Jersey Division of Gaming Enforcement, seeking a green light on their purchase of an Atlantic City Club Casino hotel. Hotel COO Michael Frawley released a brief statement Wednesday indicating that the deal was off but did not cite a specific reason. PokerStars has also yet to comment. You'd be hard pressed to find someone happier at news of the failed deal than State Assemblyman Ralph Caputo, who, according to Washington Post, had the following to say. PokerStars is a firm with a sordid history of criminal accusations of illegal gambling, money laundering, bank fraud, wire fraud. The firm's way of conducting business threatened to undermine the integrity and public confidence that Atlantic City has worked diligently to build since the enactment of the New Jersey Casino Control Act enacted in 1977. To become involved with a company like this one would have been an insult to everyone who has undergone scrutiny to work or do business in the casino industry over the last 30 years. PokerStars was hoping to complete the acquisition as it would allow them to capitalize on New Jersey's recent passage of legalization, permitting internet gambling, including online poker, to be conducted by licensed Atlantic City casinos. Caesars Entertainment, the American Gaming Association, and many others seemed rattled by the prospect of a new kid on the block cutting in on their profits, particularly when the new kid, in this case PokerStars, for so many years flouted U.S. law in accepting bets online from U.S. players. In other news, Station Casinos is the first to go live with online poker in Nevada, following the state's legislation of online poker this February. The site, ultimatepoker.com, may only be accessed by those physically present in the state of Nevada. A 30-day temporary license has been granted to the operation, such that it can work out starting kinks and glitches. It is expected that there should be no major issues, that a formal license will be granted to the poker site. Players must be 21 years of age or older to access the games. The site has already planned to market itself with the Ultimate Fighting Championship in an effort to appeal to a younger crowd. Across the country, Delaware has also legalized online gambling. Now that's all from me today. Do